I'm Storm Tracker meteorologist Fred Campagna. Time for another update on Hurricane Bill, which is now close to a major hurricane, just on the cusp of it, actually. As of 5 o'clock, Bill had sustained winds of 110 miles per hour, and that is right on the verge of becoming a major hurricane. And it looks like Bill is going to become not only a Category 3, but according to the National Hurricane Center, uh, Bill is likely to become a Category 4 hurricane. Look at these wind speeds as we go along here. By 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, wind speeds sustained of 135 miles per hour. That's a Category 4 hurricane, and it appears that he'll maintain that intensity for about a day with winds of 125 miles per hour by Friday, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Ultimately, his track appears that it will be to the west of Bermuda, east of the east coast, and then east of southeastern New England over the weekend as a Category 2 hurricane with winds of about... 100 miles per hour. So, well, what is my latest thinking on Hurricane Bill? Let's take a look at a few things here. Let's check out his historical track, and you can see that he's been moving on this west-northwest track. And let's look at the forecast computer models. We'll pop those on as well, and you see all of those appearing. And they're still in pretty good agreement on a turn eventually uh, to the northeast and the storm heading up into the Canadian Maritimes, and it could be a rather big deal for the Canadian Maritimes. It's getting a little bit tighter here on some of these tracks uh, of, of these computer models and get a look at how close some of the computer models are now taking this storm to our shore. And you'll see here this no gaps model taking the storm within 100 miles of Nantucket. And if that is the case, then there will be certainly some impact for Nantucket and Cape Cod. That would be a track very similar to Hurricane Edward. There's a storm tracker update on abc6hurricane.com that uh, talks about Hurricane Edward. I wrote about it earlier today, and you'll see that Edward brought 90 mile per hour wind gusts to Nantucket. Not much of an impact in Providence, but a pretty big impact Cape Cod and the islands. That was back in 19. 96. But again, that track right there from that no gaps computer model is one of the outliers. Many of the tracks are a lot farther away with this, uh, this other one, the GFDL, being 230 miles from Nantucket. If that's the case, then this storm will not have much of an impact at all in southeastern New England, aside from throwing some pretty big waves at our south coast. You can anticipate that some high surf likely over the weekend and early next week as Bill moves by. So, we're looking at the ultimate track of Bill, but one thing I want to point out is, for me, it's its track over the next 24 to 36 hours that's going to be critical in determining just how close Bill comes to southern New England. It's not what happens once the storm gets up around Bermuda, necessarily, because if it reaches a certain latitude to the north over the next couple of days, then the odds of it moving to the northwest and toward our, the southern coast of uh, our area are very slim. Storm, hurricanes just do not move that way. But if the storm is suppressed to the south by a ridge of high pressure over the next couple of days and does not reach a certain latitude, then when it makes that turn, is it is ultimately going to be much closer to our coast. So that is what I'm going to be watching real closely over the next couple of days, just how far to the south Hurricane Bill stays. Again, if it is south of, say, 20 degrees north in the next couple of days and does not begin to take that turn to the northwest, then we might have a situation that we need to monitor very closely for some impact from Hurricane Bill around here over the weekend.